Hi everyone. Well, I got something new in the mail. That's always fun. Get something in the mail. And um, it's a new Bible, and uh, it's my first one ever from the Trinitarian Bible Society. And there's one in Australia, so it's taken over a week to get here. But um, I've just opened it really quickly in the car, and I really like it. I really like it, and I'll tell you why. Let's have a look. Let's get you straight first. Sorry about the hands. Get closer. There. Should be alright? Okay. There. This is the uh, package that it comes in. It's a cardboard sleeve, which is a really nice way to keep a Bible. I like things in boxes when I'm not using them. But I think I'll be using this one. It's the Windsor Text Bible. And um, it's in calfskin. It's got the regular, get, regular stuff on the back that you've probably seen a million times on other Bibles. But um, let's get a look at it. I bought the burgundy. Um, it's calfskin. And it's, uh, it's not the calfskin like we might be used to with... Um, factory sort of powdery on it. No, that's just my hands. It's um, it's nice and um, stiff. It's a bit, reminds me of my um, black bonded leather Cambridge 24 year old Concord wide margin cover. But uh, this is a genuine calf skin, but it's a, and it's a paste down liner. But it's a, it feels nice because I was hoping for a slightly stiffer Bible to hold and read from um, that sits in my hand uh, and doesn't uh, flop back because if, if a Bible's flopping back then it takes two hands or a certain way of resting it to hold it to read it right um, and this is a 9.6 font uh, it's printed and bound it's got a little card printed and bound in the Netherlands by Royal Young Blood, so it's a really nice piece of work. It's got a lovely gilding, of course. Whenever I do that, it flashes in the room in front of me um, with a new Bible, and um, so it's uh, yeah from. William Tyndale House, Trinitarian Bible Society, London, England. And it's King James, of course. And uh, it's got contents. Usual. And the books. But it's in this really lovely font. I like it. It's really um, a lovely weight. Um... Old Testament, of course. Start there. Everybody, we like to show Genesis. Why not? It's the beginning. In the beginning. First book of Moses called Genesis. Anyway, isn't that, isn't that a beautiful typeface? And it's a really nice size. It's a hand size. What have I got that's like it? I can grab something and compare it. Okay, um, this is the Scarlet Traveris, which I read all the time, and um, that's it next. That, so it's uh, the, the Scarlet is a, re a pretty sort of full-sized Bible. It's this lovely goat skin, lovely red, and um, so this one's um, very different dimensions, right? And uh, then there's um, this one is my church Bible publisher's brown goatskin King James. It's uh, one of my absolute favourites. I love this Bible, and um, it has a wonderful text. And it's black letter, no red, 
and uh, it's just a really lovely Bible. I love this one. So I've got two Butte Bibles that I read all the time, and so I was dead curious about the Trinitarian Bible. And if you knew the price of it, well, you probably do. I'm, I've not bought Trinitarian Bibles before. So um, it was a very pleasant surprise, and it means I can um, give this Bible, which is a lovely, lovely size to hold, not a big chunk either. So it's really nice to just uh, take, and uh, I reckon it'll make a really lovely gift for someone. I'm keeping this one, but I can certainly buy one for someone when I... I'm called to do so. I'm not offering one right now, I'm afraid. But um, I've spent a lot of my money already. <laughs> oh dear, on Bibles. But um, And I've given away a lot of Bibles in this last year um, to people I know in Australia, friends of mine and people who needed a, bi a first Bible. But... Um, this is really nice, really lovely, really wrapped in this. It's got, um, it's not self-pronouncing either, which I really like. I just like to read it uncluttered. No, no self-pronouncing text, but in the back I saw when I looked at it in the car, because that's when I quickly looked at it, and I couldn't film it in there, it's just no space, and I have to hold the camera at the same time. So I don't do get do much in the car except open a package. <laughs> but it's got um, how to pronounce so all the words there in the back, which is a great idea. I love this. And then all the names. It doesn't say what page anything's on. It's just all the names. If you're looking up, it's alphabetical. So if you, you know, you've struck a word and name a place in here. Oh look, ribbons. Um, you just go to the back and alphabetically look it up and and then go to the self-pronouncing thing for the vocab and um, oh look it's got two red ribbons and I don't mind if, if it's a small Bible I don't mind if they're not great big fat ribbons because they do kind of get in the way a big ribbon uh, their big ribbons are lovely in premium Bibles not complaining but um you know, when you've just got a regular Bible with a regular gutter, um, there's nothing wrong with a nice slim ribbon because it's doing the job, isn't it? And it's not all kind of bulking up and getting caught like some of the big ones can do. Not complaining again, like I said, but they can do that, just a fact. And um, this is very nice. They've got little kinks in them, they'll come out. But um, I'm loving this Bible and um, holds in the hand, look, one hand, it's it's not going anywhere. I can read that. It's beautiful, it's 9.6 type. And uh, just a quick one for you. And uh, it wins text Bible, black letter, 9.6 type. It's got a big list of things on the back that it has. And um, Genuine calfskin leather, and I know that, uh, for instance, too. Speaking of co covers, that even though it's stiff, I actually really appreciate that. I'm not looking for a floppy Bible, and um, it's uh, only an inch wide too. But um, I know that with, like, with my the Cambridge that has bonded leather, even though this is not, that's genuine calfskin, but it's very thin and tight. Um, it it flexes, you know, once you as you use it. Don't be afraid to flex it because it's moving. You know, it's not it's not just a hunk of cardboard or anything. It's um it's a really lovely bit of work. Really pleased with that. Really pleased with that. And at some point in time, it's going to be I'll buy another one as a gift as needs be. It comes in black and burgundy. Anyway, there's my other lovelies. I use all the time. There are my goodies and my Cambridge um, Concord. Thanks for watching. And um, if you want a new Bible, don't want to pay a fortune. Gorgeous print, lovely typeface, nice to hold.
really nice size. You can see I've got small hands, so that, you can see what it is. And um, thanks for watching. And um, I've got a couple more coming from the States, but everything takes ages, and I paid the cheap rate because if from Australia with the exchange rate, if I can find a Bible um, at a really good price, so uh, their goatskin one's coming. Um, and they're dis so sort of discounted too. They're from Evangelical Bible. And I got two that um, I wanted to get, obviously. And um, they're a good price. But if I paid full ship for FedEx, it's the same price as the Bible. And I just can't afford that. It ends up being heaps. So I picked the cheaper rate, international rate, which takes way longer, uh, it seems. And um, up to three weeks. So I'm still waiting. But um, some of the tracking's not working either, but um, I've been talking to them about that and they're really helpful. I'll get them to track it for me because some of the tracking's not working for me, the numbers they gave me. But anyway, minor details. But a couple on the way and I'll show you them when they get here. And I won't tell you what they are till they get here. I'll have that surprise. Thanks for watching. God bless. Bye-bye.